All right, guys, Berkey here, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a video on how to create custom skins in Counter Strike Global Offensive over here. For uh, Valve has actually created a new update not too long ago, a couple days ago, I believe, where it actually adds a in-game. Uh, it's kind of like a uh, camo creator a little bit. I guess I could show you right now. Basically. Uh, you're gonna have to open up the console commands, which by doing that, uh, I believe you can go to. It's in your options, if I remember, just to turn it on. Let me see here. Options, game settings. It should be in here, I think, right? Yeah, right here. Enable developer console. So you can enable that, and then to to press it, it's it above the tab button, the little. I don't know. It's like it's like besides the besides your one key. I don't, I don't even know what that's called. I don't know my keyboards. Okay, people. I don't know that. But when you click on it. It opens up this little console command here. And as you can see, I got a bunch of random, like, I don't know, missing VGUI material store. Uh, I don't I don't know. I don't know what happens with Valve games on my computer, although they don't load a lot of stuff and that makes them lag a lot, so I don't know. But to open up this in-game uh, camo creator, you go workshop. It's like the under dat underscore, and then workbench. Which is actually, it's actually right here. It's not really like that hard to find, to be honest. Click on it. Uh, I said click on it. There you go. And then it opens up this little, this window here with a bunch of options that really all have to do with either creating a skin or if you want to load in a custom skin that you made, you can load that in here too. Now I'll be showing what each one of these, these things do on this. So if you're looking to see like the details on, you know, all this, all this crazy stuff going on here, you can just... You know, keep watching if you want. I don't know. If you like, if you like watching this stuff, you can just keep watching. But anyways, we will get started here. Um, on the top left, where this, where it says none, it should say none when you load in. It has all these options for these different types of sprays you can put on it. So the gun to start off with here is an AK. You can change all the guns by just clicking down here. It has all the guns on the list, though, at least most of them, I think. You can't really do grenades or anything like that because there's no like actual way to do that in like skin wise hmm. sorry about that I, uh, I burp um, now as you can see let's go to solid color and then I believe yes it turns white so as you can see it has like its own little 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 design going on here you can change the type of wear it has on by just sliding this bar down here as you can see battle scar it looks really Ugh. Ooh, what? actually it doesn't change all that much really Factory new, which looks ooh, looks really snowy and white and perfect, pretty much. Uh, field tested. It's one of the best. I'd say field tested is pretty good. I like the way field tested usually looks. Uh, but enough on that. Up here, you can actually change the color of the certain metal. Uh, <laughs> that looks very gross. I don't like that. But you know, it's it's all for the purpose of showing here. So now I got like a red and white AK. It looks, you know, it looks, looks it, it's a skin. I'll, I'll put it that way. It's something. Um, and then you could change, I guess, the white. I'll make it like a blue. I'll make this really pretty looking. Oh yeah, Counter-Strike <laughs> Counter -Strike for kids here, people. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you were to upload this to the workshop, it wouldn't get in. So I would not suggest trying that, but you know, whatever. Um, what does this change? Let's see. So make it like all the main colors of the rainbow here. And we'll make this one grow. <laughs> oh, that looks gross. This is gonna be the best looking gun. Aw oh, yeah. So good. Actually, this makes a good segue to move over to the next part of the um God damn it, burped again. Oh well. Uh the next part of the tutorial here. Down here you can change like what it looks like, like so it makes it like this weird I don't know, thing. You can, you can roll it so you can see like your Lego gun that shoots like those probably Lego mini figureheads, you know? Let's make it actually factory new to make it look just as gross as possible. Oh yeah. That's what I want my gun to look like. Yeah. And then green screen. I don't know. I guess it's good for Photoshop. You can just delete the green and then you have like this <laughs> nasty looking gun. That's the UV charts. Ooh. 
Oh, I'm, oh, that's cool. Okay, I didn't even I didn't even know that was there. So if you're one of the UV charts, it's down there, and I guess you can paint every part of it separately. Maybe if you go into Photoshop and change it all up. So that's that's smart. That's very clever. Learn something every day, people. I didn't even know that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for solid color. Uh, let's see, what's is there anything other main things I can really do here? Um, if you click these, it'll show it with like a stat track and the name on it. See stat track right there, and then the name, and then the gross like Lego gun. But oh well. Uh, hydrographic is. What does this look like again? Wait, is there really a difference? Um, yeah, also serve that fan, it always chugs away, I hope you can't hear it that bad, but, um, I don't know, it doesn't really look like there's much of a difference between the two, but, okay, I guess it's blue here, and then, whatever, whatever, that doesn't matter. Hydrographic is just, like, a different style, you can even offset the colors a bit. Down here, offsetting the color means it changes the position of certain things. That really doesn't matter for, like, just these solid, these solid colors, to be honest, but, like, you know, if, I guess for custom camos is really what the main reason you use that for. Um, you can input a pattern here, there's really no pattern yet, so there's no point to really having that. Um, and then also down here, this is a good thing to note, is with the variant you can just change the, uh, it changes all the settings of it and if, <laughs> oh god, I hope, they don't, I hope Valve doesn't even consider adding this gun. Ever, like ever. Um, yeah, but that's that. Hydrographics just changing it. Spray painted is well, you know, it's spray makes it look a lot more spray painted here. Let's go to the um, sawed off real quick, and it looks a lot. Ooh, actually, let's go to the hold. It's got like a, it's got like some red on it. Doesn't really look all that great to be honest, but uh, for spray paint, it just takes the first color and spray paints it on there. I believe so. I think that's all it does. Yeah, see, it just looks dumb as hell. It's like a candy apple. But it's a shotgun, so I wouldn't recommend eating it, but... Whatever. Uh, anodized is... It's like a very... It's like... A, eh, I don't really know how to put it. Like, It looks best on 5.7, really. Because then it looks a lot like the candy apple anodized. So you kind of have an idea. It's like really bright, strong color, solid. You know, basic premise of that. Probably people that like know paint a lot better than me probably understand what a lot of this is, but whatever. It's it's you can you can mess around with it, however. And this is multicolor apparently, even though it doesn't really change much. Kind of change the, the grip a little bit. That's about it. Whatever. Uh, so that's anodized multicolor. Yay! I'm getting I'm so good at this. I know my paint. But yeah, those are just all the options. Doesn't really what's patent though. Whoa. Whoa, what? Okay, that's cool. I, I didn't even know they had an option for that. Let's see. How's it look on like an M4? Eh, it's not, it's actually not that fantastic, never mind. All right, so now probably to the thing most people want to know about is the custom paint job thing. So, well, to get started, I'd recommend clicking on custom paint job. And you may notice that it becomes all black because, well, well, was, that's what they think the pattern is, and yeah, I'm, you know, it's valve. I don't know. Uh, to choose the pattern that you want to use, make sure you have custom paint job on, and then go to choose pattern. What's really, really important here, and what I'm going to show you next part of this tutorial is, you have to make sure that the picture you use. Actually, I'll, I'll go through actually just kind of how the how to make the picture and like what to do and then where to put it and stuff. So we're gonna leave this real quick, and then we're gonna go to Photoshop. So now we're in Photoshop. As you can see, I got like this like hexagonal camo flage. Kind of looks like something from Battlefield or something. But um, yeah, basically, I don't know. You can change it and all. You could add like, you know, if you know Photoshop, you'll know like how how this works. Yeah, look at that. Boom. It looks beautiful. But ever, but everyone wants the camera to raise you. <laughs> but let's say I already made mine and I did make mine. It's uh, all the way in. Some, uh, the thing in like inside CSGO whatever see this is what this is what I look like I made it like this it looks pretty cool it looks all right on guns actually so here it is it looks 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 presentable looks presentable you get some 
some pussy with her, you know? Some some pussy, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what? Yeah. Stop! And, uh, <laughs> fuck. Um, with that, um, the next part, to convert it to, a, like, a, a file that the Source Engine can actually, like, know, like, actually recognize, that's just using VTF Edit. Um, it's a very seductive picture on the front, I'm not gonna lie, but, oh well, that doesn't matter. It's like Ariel giving, sucking someone off. Yeah. Stop! Uh, but you open up the, uh, the J I'd recommend making it a JPEG, because I think that's what I can read in PNGs and stuff like that. So you do open with VTF Edit, <clears throat> and then it should, yeah, here it is. It may look a bit scrunched, but that's really not that big of a deal. There's like all these, there's all these options on here that you want to, that if you want to check something off for like doing a certain project or something, you can do that. It's not, it's not really what I need for just making a custom skin, but, uh, you know. Um, so now, what you want to do is you want to go save it to desktop. I'll call it the big. There we go. Sweet, the big. And save it as VTF. There we go. Right there. Beautiful. Um... Now the way to bring it into your the, into the CSGO like files as it says it's looking for something in like this area. This is what I'll boot up as, so you don't have to like change anything. Uh, what you want to do is go to so you go into you go into Steam, you right click and you go to properties, then you move over to the local files tab, you go browse local files, and then as you can see yo is in there, which is what my other one was called, so yo.vtf. So technically, I don't even need the. Uh, where's the other one? I don't need the big anymore. See the big, and I can load up my VTF into um, yeah, into the uh, little maker over here. As you can see, it's uh, a little bit too big. So last time, when I checked it, I made it a four originally, and it looked a lot better. I don't know. It's not loading in though. There we go. You could do like a little reload here. Looks pretty nice. I found it looked really good on the op, but I guess really any camel kind of looks decent on the op. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. Uh, yeah. So you know, it doesn't look doesn't look that bad. Kind of like the way it looks. I guess you could put in like the workbench here and kind of roll it around. Look at that. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's kind of like a crisis camel a little bit. So, yeah, you know. If you ever play Crisis, that game's not bad. I'm trying to sponsor EA over here, like... Bad Battlefield 4, their sponsor. Um... And that's pretty much it, technically. Like, I'm gonna make this a two-part tutorial, so the next part will be publishing. Which I'd probably say is the hardest of the work. So expect that in the next upcoming days, a, a publishing tutorial on how to get these onto the, um... Fucking burp again! Oh my god. Onto the actual workshop. So, uh, if you want to know, if you want to see that, then I guess you should probably I don't know, wait around. It should come out the next co upcoming days when I actually record it. But um, I don't know. Look at that yum, yummy. That's uh yeah, that's been my part one of this this fun series. Well, I'm done. So you know, wait till part two, and then yeah. Thanks for watching the video. If you want more, you can subscribe down here or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's it. Bye.